Hey there, and welcome back to the Ingrain Workshop. I'm Rick, and in today's video, we're gonna be replacing the headlight bulbs in my 2011 Chevy Silverado 1500 pickup. I'll leave a link in the video description below to all the products and tools that I used in this video. And if this video is useful for you, please leave it a thumbs up, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. So this is my 2011 Chevy Silverado pickup truck. Um, today we're going to be replacing the headlight bulbs on the low beams. The high beams are fine, so we're not going to replace those at this time. But if you wanted to, you could replace both the parking lights, the, the uh, low beams, the, the high beams. And if you wanted to uh, replace the entire headlight housing because maybe it's got dull over time and you've tried a DIY uh, video to try to clean it up and for whatever reason it didn't clean up and you just want to replace it um, you can replace the whole uh, headlight uh, assembly and I'll leave a link in the video description where you can get that so let's get started so the tools you're going to need for this project will be a flat blade screwdriver and then a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and that's all you're going to need to replace the bulbs or if you were going to replace the whole headlight assembly so the first thing we're going to do is remove the grill cover. Um, the grill cover has a total of eight tabs that hold it to the grill. The only thing you're going to need to do to take these tabs out is a flat blade screwdriver. So let's zoom in and take a co closer look at how we're going to remove the tabs with a flat blade screwdriver. So this is a closer look at the tabs that uh, hold in the uh, grill cover assembly. And you're just going to want to take a flat blade, flat blade screwdriver and just pry up the pin and then they'll just pop out. Now with all eight tabs out of the cover we're going to just go ahead and re uh, remove the grill cover and just set it to the side. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove the actual grill and there are a total of four 10 millimeter bolts on the top of the grill that we're going to need to remove and then there are four tabs on the back of the grill which will need a pair of needle nose pliers to crimp them down as we pull those tabs out. But the first thing we're going to do is take, uh, take out the four millimeter bolts on top of the grill. So now with the four uh, 10 millimeter bolts removed from the top of the grill, now we're going to go around to the back side of the grill and remove the four tabs that hold the back side of the grill uh, in place. And to remove those, you just need a pair of needle nose pliers just to crimp uh, the tab down and then you're able to just pull out, pull out the, uh, the grill. So let me show you a closer look at that. Okay, it was a little hard for me to show you behind the grill, but now that I've got, and there are a total of five tabs, uh, not four tabs. So um, let me go ahead and remove the grill and then I can show you better once it's out. Okay, so there, uh, there's a total of six tabs actually. There are four tabs along the bottom of the grill and then there's two tabs about midway up the grill. And these are the tabs um, that I was trying to show you from behind the grill. You just compress these uh, tabs down with the needle nose pliers, um, and then you're able to slide it out. So you do that for all six, and then you're able uh, to slide the, uh, the grill cover off. Now with the, uh, the grill off, we can um, access the light bulb assembly. Um, or headlamp assembly. There are a total of three uh, 10 millimeter bolts that hold this together. I've got one on top, uh, one in front, and then there's one uh, that's going to be underneath the the wheel where the front wheel, wheel uh, of the tire. Uh, so I'll show you how to take that off. Thank you. 
Then here at your front wheel well, well, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here that you're gonna have to remove. And then you'll be able to access behind this plastic um, wheel, real wheel well. And there is the other 10 millimeter bolt that we're gonna have to remove. Once we remove this 10 millimeter bolt, then we'll be able to remove the headlight assembly. Now with the three 10 millimeter bolts loose from the headlight assembly, we should be able to take and then just slide it out. Once you have it slid out, there's a wiring harness here, which will just disconnect. So you will have to take a flat, flat blade screwdriver and then just slide it underneath and push the tab down. And then the wiring harness should come off. And then you've got your whole uh, headlight assembly. So at this point, you know, if you wanted to, to, you know, replace the whole assembly, you could do that. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link in the video description below to where you can get an entire assembly. Uh, you can get a clear one like this, or you can get a blacked out one, uh, which is kind of what I've done with, uh, with my truck. And I definitely considered that, but at the time, I just want to just replace the bulbs because I think they were a little over $100 for the whole entire uh, headlight assembly versus just $20 for just the bulb replacement. Um, so as you can see here on the inside, um, there are uh, two, two bulbs, you know, one's going to be for, I've got it upside down. This is going to be your low beam, which is your regular running lights and then your high beams. Um, like I had mentioned before, my high beams are fine. So right now I'm just going to replace the, uh, the low beams. So they should just twist and come out like so. And then we're just going to replace just the bulbs. So these are the replacement bulbs that we're going to be using. Uh, they're a Sylvania uh, H11, and I'll leave a link in the video description of where you can get these bulbs. Like I said, I think they were around $20 to maybe $25. Um, and again, this is just for the low beams or the running lights. Um, I'm not replacing the high beams at this time. The next time I, I do go to replace uh, the, the headlights, I'll probably just replace the whole uh, headlight assembly and maybe go with a smoked uh, glass instead of just the uh, the clear glass. Um, probably should have done it this time, but again, I just wanted to get the truck up and running again, so I just ordered the bulbs. So again, these just rotate counterclockwise. Okay, now with the, uh, the old bulb out, we're going to put the new bulb in, and again, it's just a two-prong connection. And then it snaps in, and then you put it back into the housing. And it's got tabs, it's got three tabs uh, that you'll line up and then you just rotate it clockwise and then that seals it in. So now the, uh, the bulb has been replaced and then we can replace the whole headlight assembly back onto the truck and the right side of the truck is done and then we'll just repeat the process for the, uh, the left side of the truck. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is replace the grill. Uh, like I had mentioned before, there are six tabs on the back of the grill, four on the bottom, and then two about midway up. We're just going to line up the, uh, the tabs for the bottom first. And pop those in. Once you get the uh, four bottom tabs top uh, tap back in, then you want to do the, the two that are about medium height. Now once you got all six tabs uh, snapped back into place, the grill for the most part is installed. Uh, there are four 10 millimeter bolts that we're going to have to replace or put back uh, that run along the top of the grill. So let's put those back next.
Okay, so now that we have the grill installed, the next thing we're going to do is install the grill cover that goes over the top. And as you recall, those were just plastic pins that we popped out. I believe there's a total of eight of them. So we're going to put the cover back on, put the eight pins back in place, and that should do it. So again, here's a close-up of the, uh, the pins. And as you can see, we just popped them up with a flathead screwdriver. So then we're going to just put them back in the hole and then press down on the top and that should lock these in place. Okay, and that's it. The, uh, the eight pins are back in place. So now the grill cover is back on the truck. Um, everything uh, should be back in place. So now let's uh, test out the lights. So as you can probably see, the, uh, the running lights or the low beams are uh, working. Um, I'm going to go inside and test the uh, high beams. So as you can see, the high beams are working on the right side of the truck. And they're also working here on the left side of the truck. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope this video helps you out in your project. If it did, please leave it a like. Please use the affiliate links and please subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. Again, this is Rick with the Ingrain Workshop. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.